What is up, everybody? This is FHRC Brony, and today I'm here for another unboxing. This time it's not a 10 scale, it's actually a 16 scale. This is the Mini E Revo, and no, this is not the Merv. Uh, this is actually called the Mercs. <laughs> yeah, the Mercs. The Merv is the brushless version of the E Revo, 16 E Revo. This one is the Mercs, which has the brushed XL 2.5 and Titan 12 turn. So yeah, so unfortunately it's not a Merv, it's a Mercs. M-E-R-X, not Merv. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, <laughs> I've been getting pressured by friends and you know, myself, and uh, fortunately I did save up plenty of money to get this. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. I wonder if this is the norm of what Traxxas does. If they actually put these plastic layer, paper-like layer on top of their boxes i don't know if you guys actually have this when you guys get it through shipping but i usually buy my stuff from a store except amazon if i need need stuff on amazon that i don't get at my local hobby shop Styrofoam. Yeah, styrofoam. Oh. Let me grab this out of the way. And I'll open this little box in a bit. And, um, I guess. Ah, huh, okay. And, ready for it? Ready for it? Here we go! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Well, what do you know? It's a miniature version of the Traxxas E Revo. Um, but first, before I get into the finer details of the truck, um, let's go see what's inside this box. I am assuming this is the controller. Okay, where did my scissors go? Where did my goddamn scissors go? <laughs> wow. Oh, there it is. It's right underneath my other phone. Okay. Um, oh, okay, I just pull, I can pull this, pull it out. All right. Yeah, it's the controller. And, oops, sorry for hitting the camera. My bad, my bad. And let me open it up. And eh, typical basic TQ radio. Um, it is 2.4 gigahertz, so you no long antenna that you would poke people's eyes out. So um so there you go, there's the controller. Um, this right here is um, uh, you got your instruction manual and stuff like that, and uh, you know, warranty stuff, and some extra brochures, and your vinyl stickers. And I personally hate this kind of uh, charger. I don't know why Traxxas uh, even use this. I mean, it's nice that Traxxas gives us a charger, but really, seriously, a car charger? Who's really gonna be? putting this on their 12 volt cigarette lighter charger uh, port. Not many people. Um, they did also include us a six cell 7.2 volt nickel no high drive battery right in there. So yeah, um, but aside from that, that's pretty much all the goodies out of the way. So let's go take a look at this. This is actually, um, I mean, this is not the first time I've ever seen a mini miniature e Revo. And, uh, I've seen videos on YouTube of what the E-Revo looks like. Um, 
but especially the big the big boy actually so if you guys are wondering why did i get the small one instead of the big one now the main reason why i actually decided to get the small one instead of the big one is because the big one is great you know it's awesome it's cool it's just why would I need, why would I pay over $500, $600 just to get the big one? And plus, I can easily use this for, to take it on my road trip. So, I can use this um, to make uh, videos all along my, with my road trip. And I can easily uh, keep this in my backpack. Because uh, my, if you guys seen my last road, on um, my a last road trip video of me using my tracks to slash going over to Zion Canyon in Utah and Las Vegas Nevada I had to carry that thing um, a lot and I did not have to I did not even use my backpack to put this slash in there so I need something small to at least carry around with me without uh, without any hassle so this is the that's really the main reason why I actually got it, and also I really like the E Revo. I, it looks pretty cool, honestly, and it's a lot cheaper than to get the actual full scale one tenth to one eighth scale E Revo, which is like six hundred, seven hundred bucks. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, the prices could have dropped or something, but this one is a lot cheaper, like a lot, a lot cheaper. So, anyway, it's enough of me. Um, talking to you guys about that um yeah like i said it's just the scaled down version of the traxxas e revo uh, one eight scale uh, electric monster truck which is the electric version of the original nitro revo uh, yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at inside the, the vehicle okay so we got some of this oh, this warning stuff <sighs> Yeah, Traxxas, I know I've been in the RC, I've been in the RC hobby for quite some time. I know what's up. I've been a loyal Traxxas customer for you guys, and this one's just basically talking about the XL 2.5 easy setup tips, which is basically the same setup um, setup procedures which you get on the VXL 3S, the MXL 6S, and so on and so forth, and the 110 scale XL 5. It's nothing really different here, and um, yeah, um, um, just to get this out of the way, I am, I, I okay, I hate this, no, uh, okay, <laughs> we are off with a, with a good start, I personally hate this, a long antenna, long antenna tubes, especially in 2000, this is all, it's almost 20, 2020, and up till this day, we're still using long antennas. Even the antenna is not even that long at all. It's not even extremely long. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of a little bit of a drawback um, for these low end Traxxas, you know, RCs. Uh, but, I mean, it does the job well, and uh, I can't complain more. Um, if they, if the antenna's working fine, it should be fine. Um, let me go ahead and screw this in real, real quick. I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so, uh, I got the antenna sorted out, and, eh, it's, it's held there on tight. Um, I'm a little bit worried that something may break off, especially if I'm gonna do some heavy bashing with this thing. Um, but aside from that, what you're looking at here is literally straight off of a full scale Traxxas E Revo. They just scaled it down. Yeah, it still has that same cantilevered shocks, that lay down shocks that the Nitro, original Nitro Revo and the full scale E Revo is famous for. Look at that. That's a lot of um, suspension travel as well. And that, oh, wow, that's just styrofoam packing material. Okay. But yeah, just. That's that's like I I've, I've seen these on video and how plush they are, but I did not know that these are had a lot of suspension travel. This is the first time I actually ever owned an E Revo in person, and just getting to know it, it's like oh my god, that's pretty nice actually. Um, I did further, but however, I did do some further research. Um, 
on this E Revo, the, the mil, um, little E Revo, and it has some shock issues where it, the shock absorbers aren't absorbing any shock. So I may have to fix that up, but right now, I'll, as of now, I'm just gonna be doing the box stock performance before anything else. But uh, unlike the, the big E Revo, um, this one does not have the adjustable tie rods, unfortunately. So you can't really, you can't adjust your camber or anything like that, or as far as I'm concerned. But um, yeah, but aside from that, everything you're seeing here is literally straight off of a full scale, 10 scale or eight scale in this case, Traxxas E Revo. I keep repeating myself because this is just, I just actually really appreciate the, the engineering on how this car was actually built. They really scaled down the full scale E Revo into a small package. And it really encourages some of the uh, RC folks who really wanted to have an E Revo, but couldn't have them, don't have the money nor the budget to actually buy the full scale one or the actual uh, the big E Revo because that, that thing is just it's so freaking expensive and Trax has thought of that and they actually made a scaled down version of the vehicle and they made it a lot cheaper so uh, come, good job Trax is really you did an amazing job with that so uh, let's go over with the key features you got the XL 2.5 electronic speed controller and I actually just found out right now that this thing actually is not screwed in this is actually held down by those little tabs right there you, I believe Latrax actually does the same method I'm not too sure my girlfriend actually has a Latrax rally car so I think it does have that same method where it just slots in like that um, you get um, a 2080 waterproof steering servo and I believe you can actually install two servos if I'm not mistaken because there's actually another one over there. I mean the full skill E Revo has two servos. So um there's your waterproof receiver box and you get uh the Titan 12 turn 550 size motor. This is literally straight out of the 110 scales. Um you will find these in Traxxas two-wheel drive offerings, such as the Slash two-wheel drive, the Stampede two-wheel drive, the Rustler two-wheel drive, and the Bandit. So you will see this exact same motor if you have one of those. Um, but yeah, you got yourself a, I don't know if this thing is made of Lexan. You got this wing on the back and stuff like that. And there's some bumpers right there. Yeah, everything else here is it's pretty basic. Traxxas, fair, standard fair, you know, things. So, and there are two battery trays or battery holders uh, on the side of the vehicle. Normally, the battery would normally be on top of the chassis, but unfortunately, due to all the electronics on top, they had to put it on the side, just like how they did with the actual 10 scale, or in this case, 8 scale E Revo. I'm just gonna call the the, e, the full E Revo. The, the full size E Revo, an eight scale, because it's more of an eight scale. So uh, it looks like these are being, you can open them by actually opening these two thumb, uh, thumb pins. And uh, if I can figure out how to open it, we'll get to see what's inside the battery case. <sighs> Damn it. That's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get inside because this thing is. Ah, there we go. Well, what do we see here? What do we have here? Uh, this one is talking about. Oops, I dropped it. This one is talking about. Oh, it's talking about. Oh, okay. A peak detection charger is highly recommended, which I have. So. Worry about that. So yeah, that's just telling them talking about a battery charger that I already have. <laughs> so let's close that up, and I don't know what's on the other side. I'll figure that out. Ah, there's another one. Okay, this one is do not use a series connector. 
Oh, it's telling that do not, yeah, do not use a serious connector for more top speed because it may blow up your ESC. <laughs> Um, this is equipped with a nominal voltage of 7.2 volts and but you can use a parallel um, uh, connector which increases your runtime so I'll think about getting that but at, at the moment I just want to see how, how it works out in box stock so yeah so like I said it's also speaking of the battery it is included uh, the 7.2 volt a six cell Nico Metal High Drive battery pack, which you can see right there. And I guess that's pretty much it. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's the Traxxas E Revo, also called the Merv for the brushless. And this one, this one in particular is the Mercs, with a brushed version of the E, of the Mini E Revo. Now, normally, after I do my unboxing video, I always hook up the battery. Well, I first charge the battery first, and then once it's charged, I go outside and drive it. But there's only one problem. Actually, there's two problems. As of the time I'm, I'm making this video, it is dark outside. And second of all, I cannot drive this right away. Because after I did research on this vehicle, and a lot of people, including my friends, said you need to shim the you need to shim the diffs. It does not strip or damage your drivetrain components. So um, what I did is purchased a set of of uh, of shims. Um, it, it's just, it, there's only one that you can see because the, the rest of the shims are up there. So, and this one's like a $2 um, part, and this is from Team Associated. So, um, so yeah, if you guys if you guys are going to buy a Traxxas Mini E Revo or a Mini Slash or a Mini Summit, make sure you buy an um, extra set of shims, uh, differential shims. Otherwise, you may destroy your drivetrain components. And that's, that's, one, that's one of the reasons why or actually the main reason why I am not going to be driving this the way it is right now because I do not want to risk destroying any drivetrain parts on this vehicle after a few minutes or a few hours or, or even a few days of driving this. So in order for me to, to avoid that, I have to disassemble the front and rear end and use these on the differentials. So. Yeah, that's normal. Normally, I wouldn't be doing that on RTR RCs, but in this case, I have to do it on this one just to avoid, just to avoid any drivetrain damage. So aside from that, um, that is it, guys. That this is the unboxing of the Traxxas Mercs or the Mini E Revo XL 2.5 Edition. If you guys want to get the brushless version, which is called the Merv, you have to get one with the Valenion VXL3M Micro ESC and Motor Combo. But that one is a lot faster. This one is not uh, too crazy fast, but it's fast enough for a 16 scale. So uh, aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and you know take it apart and shim the diffs, and then I'll follow you guys up with a driving video. So until then. Talk to you guys again soon. That's big. Not really. <laughs>